Hello, my name's Nicole Nike, and today I'll be presenting my COSC 3000 computer graphics project. The aim of this project is to use computer graphics techniques to create a 3D model of the Boeing 777X and use animations to create a video commercial for Virgin Australia's customers. The reason for conducting this project was no 3D models exist for the Boeing 777X since the aircraft was recently created by Boeing. The animation model should contain a voiceover with facts and the 3D model aircraft itself in motion. This project has the potential to be used as a basic model that can be adapted by airlines and airport infrastructure designers to see how a scale 777X would fit into the real world environment. The Boeing 777X is Boeing's newest long haul aircraft which conducted its first flight on January 25th, 2020. The aircraft replaces the current less efficient Boeing 777-200-300ER. With the differences between the two, the 777X being more wing flexed, having a more flexed wing tip and more aerodynamic fuselage and the newer next gen General Electric engines. Virgin Australia is the second largest airline operating in Australia both on international and domestic routes. The airline's current fleet includes five Boeing 777-300ERs. Furthermore, the airline as of May 2020 is a $1.5 billion debt due to the coronavirus pandemic. The potential to incorporate the 777X into the current fleet would reduce current operating costs by over 14% on international travel. The engines used on the Boeing 777X are supplied by the company General Electric. The engine manufactured in 2018 developed the GE9X High Bypass Turbofan engine, which is 10% more efficient than the existing GE90 engines on the 777-300. The fan blades are made up of a fourth generation carbon fiber composite material and also, the turbofan casing is made up of an ultra-light composite material. The project was created using a multitude of software for modelling, texturing and animating. The software used to create the Boeing 777X model was Blender 2.8. Blender is a free modelling software that was available for my Windows 10 operating system. This was the desired program for the project since it offered both tools for modelling and animation. For the graphics rendering in Blender, the EV rendering engine is based on an OpenGL and offered real-time rendering using the NVIDIA GPU by manipulating the model in real-time. This allowed changes of the models to be viewed in real-time as a fast render of both models and animation. For the texturing of the Virgin Australia and Boeing 777X logos and aircraft external features, the software GIMP was used. GIMP is a free graphics editor of images. This allowed UV maps from Blender to be exported and edited in GIMP and then exported as a PNG to be applied to the model. For editing of the animation rendered in Blender, the animation video had to be edited in the form of a proposal video to Virgin Australia's customers for its new Boeing 777X. This was edited in the software Final Cut Pro X. Since doing YouTube for the last 10 years, I'm well experienced in using this software. Hence, it was easy to export the Blender animation straight into this software and apply video editing techniques to export a high quality video animation. The technique of 3D modeling involves the manipulation of virtual space in the Blender engine to manipulate 3D objects, which is the mesh. These techniques include the following. Mesh modeling, subsurfacing, mirroring, edges, faces, vertices, extrusions, rotations, and scaling. To apply the techniques of 3D modeling, first a blueprint had to be sourced as a background for three perspectives of the 777X. The three perspectives of top-down, side and front view were placed in Blender's virtual space as a reference guide for scaling and developing the aircraft. The shape of the fuselage is not a perfect cylinder and narrows down towards the front and tail of the aircraft. Hence, to fit the narrow sections and the front and the tail, the techniques of scaling and rotation and extruding were applied. To match the size of the nose and tail, the scaling tool was used to scale down the two extruded sides while scaling down the z-axis was locked to only ensure the sections were scaled and rotated in the x and y directions. After a basic fuselage model was created, the next important phase was modelling the wings, elevators and horizontal stabiliser. To do so, sections had to be removed from the cylinder mesh. Selecting faces and edges were found to be imprecise, hence, by selecting vertices in line with the blueprint, these allowed for more precision when creating holes for the wings, elevator and horizontal stabiliser. 3D modeling technique of extruding, scaling and rotating were again applied to create the three wing components. To reduce the redundant workload as well as ensure symmetry, Blender's mirror modifier was applied to the mesh, which allowed changes on one side to automatically reflect on the other side. The engines were created using a cylinder and scaled down to the size of the blueprint GE9X engines. 
To create the narrowing down of the engine, the extruding and scaling tools were used to create a circular pointy mesh at the back of the engine. Next was the flapper on extension surfaces and selecting the mounting points for the engine. To create these, the cube mesh surface was added to the cylinder. These were scaled down and extruded to create a singular rectangular shape matching the size of the blueprint and were attached to the wings and engine mounting point. The final modelling technique was subsurfacing. The subsurface modifier when added to all the mesh surfaces smoothened all the edges into a smoothened model. The technique of texturing involved the use of the following tools, UV mapping and materials principle BSDF. To create the initial white base coat and darkened cockpit windows, the principal BSDF shader was used. The material's base colours were selected and the white and black from the subsurface colour. Since the 777X has a shiny fuselage, the sheen tint and specular properties were altered to create a minimal white shine. This created minimal reflection as desired for the fuselage. For the cockpit windows, a glass effect was created by using more of a reflection. This was done by increasing the specular roughness and sheen tint to replicate the real world glassy effect for the cockpit windows. The second technique for texturing included UV mapping to map the 2D image design onto a 3D mesh model. The mesh models had to be exported with view projections of significant components. These components included the wings for flaps, engine for fan blades and logos, and the fuselage for windows, doors and logos. The mesh structure was projected onto a PNG file with a skeleton of these three major components. To add these important features, the PNG file was opened in GIMP. Multiple layers of images and shapes were composed onto the PNG file to create two images that could be projected from the 2D model onto the 3D mesh model. After importing the 2D images from GIMP into Blender, they needed to be projected from view again onto the mesh. This was done by adding the image texture to the node structure and setting it as a base layer underneath the subsurface material for the fuselage wings and engine designs to be rendered as materials on the aircraft's surface. The limitations of using the UV mapping technique was the accuracy of the paint and logos when projected onto the mesh structure. Some of the logos were unaligned and the red and blue spray effect wasn't consistent across the underneath and lower half of the fuselage. To improve mapping of images onto the mesh structure, it would be advised to create more projections from different perspectives of the aircraft to cover different angles more accurately. Blender's light point and sun point tools were utilised when applying the technique of lighting to the modelled aircraft. The engine casing for the 777X model had a shiny metallic material surface, whereas the fuselage had a light shine effect from lighting. From the animation, the aircraft passed through the still camera. The light emitted into the engine needed to change since the angle of viewing was changed to the camera. To enable a variable light intensity source, the light point object was added to the virtual space. This created the effect of the shine material of the engine casing changing as it passed the camera similar to the real-world motion of capturing objects moving past the still camera. When rendering the scene, it was found the aircraft was dark, hence to increase the brightness of the environment, the light sun object was placed into the space. This provided a low universal lighting intensity, enabling the fuselage to appear shiny in the render, whilst an engine had a higher shine as it passed the camera. For the animation and rendering of images when the aircraft was on the tarmac, the technique of creating soft shadows was required to demonstrate realism of the mesh in the real world. By repositioning the light source, this changed the direction of the light rays to hit the aircraft and create a basic soft shadow around the aircraft to create realism in this eventual rendered environment. The limitations of exporting the lit soft shadow image as a transparent green screen image and setting the tarmac as a foreground caused alignment issues with the shadow's positions. Hence, it would be advised to import the background first into Blender, then apply the soft shadow technique to create a rendered image. After modelling the aircraft and setting up the camera views for animation, the issue of engines not appearing shiny in the render was discovered. To solve this issue, a reflective plane was added to the scene. By adding the reflective plane, redirecting the light rays from the plane onto the engine casing allowed the metallic shine to appear on the render. More complex reflection techniques could have improved this model, which included the Fresnel effect. This effect uses mathematical models to change the amount of mesh reflections based on the viewing angle, enabling a more realistic shadow and shine on surfaces. For the animation of the 777X model, Blender's keyframe animation method was applied. This involved changing the rotation, scale, and position of the model by setting a start and end keyframe. Blender's internal engine interpolated this motion by creating an F-curve. By adjusting the length and height of the X, Y, and Z axis of the curve, the speed of which the motion was occurring was changed.
To capture these motions and render an animation, the camera view object was added to the view space. By changing the number of keyframes and dividing this by the frames per second, the animation time could be determined. Since 15 to 20 seconds of animation for each scene was required, the frame rate was set to 60 FPS with 1000 keyframes, and the NVIDIA GPU as a rendering GPU allowed for the animation time to be minimal. Next was the motion of the camera view. Similar to the mesh object by adding keyframes for rotation and positioning motion could be achieved from the camera view in the virtual space. For the camera to focus on the 777X, the camera tracking modifier was added. This tracked a point on the selected aircraft's mesh, ensuring the aircraft was always in shot even when the camera was moving. After exporting the video animation files to coincide with the aim of this project by creating a video commercial for Virgin Australia, the files were imported into Final Cut Pro X by applying video editing techniques of cutting, scaling, positioning, overlay, music and green screen keying, a video was able to be produced. The video produced was a 76 second video uploaded to YouTube with a quality of 1080p 50fps and is illuminated on screen now. Virgin Australia family and soar into the future with Boeing's new 777X. Here's to looking up. After rendering the video animation, the mesh model was also rendered into still image environments. This includes the aircraft level at 35,000 feet at night, banking right towards the next navigational waypoint during the day, and sitting idle on a taxiway at Brisbane International Airport. Throughout the development process and production of the rendered images and animation, many limitations and shortcomings existed in this project. For the 3D modeling process, if more time was available, additions include refinement of surfaces, adding sensors, light bulbs, and outlining for the flaps, rudder, and elevators to make the aircraft look more realistic. The engine was only modeled basically. More time could have gone into making it the intake more deeper and fan blades looking less 2D. In relation to the reflection of the engine, this reflected Blender's basic HDRI. If a real airport HDRI environment was available online, this would have improved the reflection of an airport scene onto the engine case, rather than a default park environment. Also, putting the video environment into Blender and animate the aircraft already with the environment would allow more control of angles and 3D dimensional distortion, allowing for more realism. The soft shadows produced for the 777X at the ramp didn't look realistic since the shadow and aircraft were green screened and made transparent and then overlaid onto the environment. Similar to the animation shortcoming, by importing the background into Blender and then applying reflection and lighting would have created a more realistic and smooth soft shadow. Overall, the minor limitations didn't take away from the positives of this project in successfully applying computer graphics techniques for modeling and animation. In conclusion, the aim of this computer graphics project was to apply computer graphics technique in developing a 3D model for the new Boeing 777X, with Virgin Australia's livery in a commercial video and images for marketing. In completing the project, the goal of creating a model for the 777X with Virgin Australia's livery was achieved with a high degree of accuracy, barring a few minor details. The animation video commercial produced was well edited and met the goal of being an informative commercial style. Finally, the rendered images of the aircraft in the real-world environment also coincided with the project's aim of visualising how the 777X would fit into real-world environments accurately using the 777X's real-world blueprint scales in Blender. Thus, this computer graphics project successfully applied the course techniques of including 3D modelling, texturing, lighting, shadows, reflecting, animation, and GPU rendering. Thank you for listening.